We're going to go over a lot of things that you may not know are included in your Creative Cloud membership. You're not just a Creative Cloud member. You are truly investing in something that is, I think, your number one, if not ultimate business toolkit. Adobe Express included in your Creative Cloud membership. And if you didn't know, you can use Adobe Express for presentations. It's amazing. This is Adobe Capture. And what it is, is it's a way of getting your phone's camera, your phone's kind of ability to make new sources, put them into libraries, and then use them throughout your desktop. When you click on the camera icon here, as you look, I'm moving around and I get this different pattern from what my lens is showing. All right, so I'm gonna just put a pink into the camera here a little bit. Look at that. So see what it does and like, Ooh. I can go to my actual camera roll and I can find something like, let's say this one here and look what it did. But I can actually move these around and be like, you know what, I want specific colors from this. All I have to do is click on that basically save it into any library that I've either currently have or I can make a new one. This is something new, what Capture does. From that same actual color palette, it's also said, do you wanna generate a pattern? Do you wanna generate a shape? Do you wanna generate a gradient? How about that? And when that's all said and done, you could just hit save and go. Now this is a unique feature for brushes. That is the source image. But what that did is it actually made a brush. And again, oh, I can toggle cool. between the source and the preview. And if I like it, you just save it and now it's in your brushes in Illustrator or even in Fresco. So you can have some fun with this stuff as well. A million different things that you can do with Capture. Please go try it. It is very underrated and it is included in your Creative Cloud membership. Next, let's talk about Illustrator. This was literally a screen cap from the Adobe Express template that I chose. So I'm gonna make a duplicate of it here. And if you haven't been using Image Trace, try out the new features. It has gotten so good. I'm just gonna go to the first one here, which is 16 colors. And you can see it's already figured it out. All you have to do now is hit the expand button. And now take a look. We have our- It's pretty good. Our colors, we have our shapes. Cool, so the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this over and we're gonna try some recolor stuff. Go over to edit, and then you're gonna go to edit colors, and then you're gonna go to recolor artwork. Slide on over to the generative recolor. You can do anything you want. I could do fall colors and leaves. And look at this, you get these really amazing options to mess with. Watch this, we're gonna hit reset. Okay. That gets you back to where you were. So we can regenerate with color palettes that we've already created. Yes. So here's that palette we made in Adobe Capture. So I can go to these individual colors and just hit plus and go like, I want that one there. Perfect. So get that here. Now watch this, we generate and it's actually gonna turn this pattern into the exact colors from my hotel room, which is pretty amazing. And all I'm gonna do now is you're gonna go into the little hamburger there, create swatch info, one click, boom. How cool is this? We've saved a ton of time by being able to do something really cool. Now let's say someone wants a new pattern. So I'm just gonna draw a square and we're gonna go to object, pattern make, now you have generative patterns, which are really cool. So I wrote plant leaves, growing sprouts. This is great. I can go right to that palette that I've already used and go right back here and generate. This is awesome. So look at that. You've got something really, really cool. Now that we have this cool little pattern, select both. We're gonna go to object and we're gonna go down all the way to mock-up, create mock-up. And I'm just gonna hit opacity and turn that to multiply. And you can see here, but you get all the little creases and everything there as well. So we've created a pretty cool little mock-up. This is awesome. I could just take this control click and go right to add library. We took everything from capture, brought it into here, and we're starting a little bit of a brand. We're jumping back into Adobe Express. Let's go create new, perfect. So we have this shape here and you're gonna see libraries. Simplest thing, you click on the three dots and all of a sudden you have use as a brand. Now when I go to brands, check this out, I have this new brand here. So here I got my graphic, we can even bring in our bag. I'm gonna just do some type and I'm just gonna do grow and co. Look at that, we were already like using colors right from something that was done in capture. Oh, look at this. It's cute. It's looking kind of cool, right? So you have great control through this thing. It feels like Illustrator. Oh, graphic. Perfect. All right, so we're going to do that. Firefly, buckle up, everybody. Good good luck. <laughs> good luck, folks. That's really cool. Yeah, all of this uh, that we're using is included in your Creative Cloud membership. Bye, everybody. See you guys.